Hi guys, it's me Waz and I'm here today to uh, actually show you around my and Thrawn's little Minecraft world. So uh, I'm just, we're in the jungle biome and we're not too far from where we spawned uh, originally. So let me just begin the tour. So let me get out of this view. All right, so this is our little uh, tree house. I'll go outside so you can see the whole thing here. Okay, now um, this is survival, and I we did almost, I'd say, ninety nine percent of this in survival. There was like the odd thing. Like if we fell down a hole that we couldn't get out of and we didn't want to wreck something, then we might go into creative. Um, occasionally we changed the day, like from night to day. And that is about it. And maybe um, if we decided that we wanted to go to, like one of the sections I'm going to show you, um, we need to go to an ocean monument to get the stone that we needed, but we wanted to make sure the stone was going to look good. So we went into creative and put like a couple of the stones there to see if we even liked it before we were going to like travel all the way to a monument because we're not really close to anything. So there's the tree house. It's actually built in a jungle tree that was already there. Um, the spawn point I think originally is like just over there somewhere or no, it's just over there somewhere. So anyway, so there it is. So we ran over here because we thought, you know what, jungles are really hard to find. We spawned originally near one. So we decided, well, what the heck, we'll build here. So we liked this tree and the original plan when we saw this tree was, well, there's some trees over there and over there. Maybe we can build like, you know, something like a rope bridge to the other one. So anyway, uh, so we decided to build up this tree. So this gate is here because every it used to not be quite as often but now it's more often there's like sometimes when we either come out of our little storage area below the tree there's like a creeper sitting like back here and you don't know it. and we've blown we've blown this little section up like three or four times so we decided we'd build this little uh stone fence around and we put glass around tinted glass around we tried a few different tints and this one actually we like the best because it kind of fits in with our little jungle theme. So we left a couple of the trees here and of course the original big tree. So we put a ladder going up the tree and I added these uh, support things here just to make it look more natural. So there's, let's see, so I put these all in and yes, I did do this in survival and then went over here. So it doesn't look like it's just hanging there. And as you can see, here's some part of the tree there that was originally there because we did cut off some of the branches. Anyway, so this is our little observation deck because we can come out here at night and like shoot mobs down here, which we like to do. And then this is actually the main floor of the house. So here's where all our stoves are. So when we first started, we put all the, we put like one stove in, we had like a couple of chests. So um, we had way more chests up here, but we've moved them down to our storage now. And then uh, Throned has started a map, so there's our little tree house there. Oops. And then you can go up here. And this is where we put our bed. We haven't done much with this yet. And we did have a couple of extra chests here. They're kind of getting moved into the other storage. And we've got some cocoa beans that were growing here already. And then uh, when we first started, we had this. We made this little wheat garden. And then as we got some stones, we put that around it. And then I forget why we put this here. There was a reason that we put this here originally. But I don't remember what it was. And it would probably come down because we don't really use it anymore. And then the top of the tree right here. We have clipped it a little bit, as you can tell, because it's not round, rounded like, well, not round, but you know what, not the same shape as the other jungle trees. And 
then we built this was a pain to do in survival because we kept falling but we built this bridge across to there I think this is I don't want to fall I think it's full sl yeah it's full slabs so um, and then to try and make it look a little natural so it's like in oak but you know like we ran out of material so we just used what we had and it's not finished yet and uh, this was all cobblestone because that's all we had at the time but I just recently replaced it all with jungle wood because we have obviously tons of jungle wood and that's the remainder of the tree which we'll probably build back up again and this was all cobblestone just a cobblestone square building when we first put the portal in and that this was like our first portal to nether and then I've put these windows in as we got some glass and some dye and we actually had another door here but we had what was it was it zombies yeah zombies kept coming and breaking the door down or the zombie pigmen would come through the portal and break the door down so we put this iron door in with a button and um, of course everybody's seen the neither but when we first went over to the neither see this one's still cobblestone and it had a, a, a sorry a wood door and the pigmen kept breaking this door down and coming through the portal and then showing up on our platform over there so we put an iron door here now too and an iron door I'll show you more of this later anyway so we've got all this in here because we do spend quite a bit of time over here and then uh, we kept getting gas attacks right there so <laughs> we made an escape door <laughs> over here so that's cool but I'll show you more of what we've done over here later anyway so that's our little portal room And then out this door, back across the bridge. I'm not quite sure. I was thinking about changing this to half slabs because I want to kind of make it look like a rope bridge. So it's got like the bend in it, but I'm not sure how to do that yet. So it's staying like this for now. And of course the sun's going down. Uh, let's see. Can I just go to bed yet and get rid of it? Yep. Yeah, okay. Just a minute. All right, there we go. Okay, now down. And go back down this little thing. And I added these vines not too long ago, but they've gone like crazy. Oh yeah, and I did it on the bridge too. I don't know, can you see from here? No, I'll show you later. Okay. And I put these lights on. I got this idea from... It was a video I watched on YouTube. I think it was from someone on Hermitcraft. I can't remember. But I liked it, so yeah, so I like that. So it lights it up pretty good. So we got these little things all over the place. Because I like it better than torches all over the place. Anyway, so down here we have made uh, a storage room. Oh yes, the story behind the dragon head. So we went to the end that was called or the whatever where you go fight the ender dragon and I kept thinking oh I should record it because it was the first time we went to fight we decided we'd go fight the dragon but we thought you know what it's just it's just gonna be us dying multiple times over and over and over again um, and then when I think that we're gonna do better at it then I'll record it well didn't we kill him the first time we went we did die twice but then our third time back we ended up we figured it out and ended up killing him. So next time we go and uh, kill him, uh, I'll record that for sure. So this was the first storage room that we built. This took quite a while because we had to get all the materials to make all the stuff. So and we've just been slowly decorating it. Now this one is full and Thrond made this chicken cooker, I think is what it is. So the chickens are in there and I don't know. I don't know much about the redstone. I'm not good at the redstone, but this is in here. So this is the setup for it. And then he's got some more stove ovens back here, or furnaces back here for cooking stuff. 
Anyway, so this is the redstone for the chicken cooker, which I think he got the idea off of, once again, someone from, I think, the Hermit Craft videos. So, yeah, so we have, like, an endless supply of chickens and feathers. So here's our chicken. And also through here, oh, yes, and we went to a end city or whatever it's called, and we got a second ender dragon head and there I made a little ender dragon killed by Waz and Thrawn on the 28th of April and we got these banners from that end city and there's the egg dragon egg we put it behind there and then up these little stairs here as you can see we haven't finished up here this is our AFK fishing room so basically you get up here we're up there and I don't think I have a fishing rod on me nope and then so you stand on the soul sand and just AFK your fishing rod up there and just fish and we do that quite a bit that's why we have lots of fish over there it's, and there's two so we can both do it there's oh here's see uh, get that off there come here all right so you go like this and then you just I guess put something on your wherever your fish button is your action button and then it'll just you can walk away from the computer and make dinner or, or do housework or whatever usually we do it when we go to bed but we haven't done it lately because we've got lots of stuff although we're gonna have to start stocking up because we've been doing some big projects so anyway I'll put this fishing rod back there there we go, and this is another chest for some of the fishing. Oh, except an axe is in there. I don't know why. Anyway, so there's that, and I think he also got. See, we watch Hermitcraft a lot, so I think this is where he got this idea as well. And then uh, this is chest full of fishing rods that we have fished up, and they are all full. So I've actually, when we do do the fishing now, like I've been rearranging this and putting any of the ones that we get with mending on it in here. So that's how choosy I've started getting. And then uh, any of the fish that you catch here, drop down into the hopper under the soul sand and go, well, he's got a whole bunch of chests and I'll show you the room where they go. Uh, so down here is so this is usually the side I stand on so they filter down through and fill this bottom chest and then this chest and then this chest and I think it can go up to that chest up there and then this is uh, Thrawn side here because there's all the hoppers there and because we were getting so much stuff and had way too much of it he made I, I hated having to try and run out and find or running all the way to the nether to throw crap into the lava so he made this little trash one so you can throw any crap in here that you don't want but I accidentally threw an enchanted item in there that my, one of my enchanted items I think it was either my bow or my fishing rod or whatever so now he's made it so that if you throw something in like this it doesn't automatically disappear you actually have to close the chest before it disappears uh, like I could throw this out so right now it's so I could like okay I'm gonna throw all this out and I'm like oh wait a minute I don't want to throw this out but I do want to throw that out so as long as I keep it open but once I close it it's gone and there's like a lava thing under there I don't know where he got that idea from anyway so that's that oh wait there's a uh, yeah it's up here uh, then he's got where do we see it oh you can see it from here so then he's got I think this is the watermelon and pumpkin farm right here and it's all automatic so like just every once in a while I go in here and check oh this is full so I take these out I don't have any room okay so as you can see it grows pumpkins and watermelons more watermelons than anything but there is that and I don't know if you can s if there's anywhere to see all that crap but so oh, sorry doggy uh, yeah so I'll just get rid of some of these Anyway, so yeah, so there's uh, pumpkins, watermelons, string. I've been kind of reorganizing because there's all our stones. And uh, clay. And then our wood and plants and then all this other crap. 
And uh, we had a charged creeper during one of the thunderstorms, so we quickly dug a hole, led him down there, and then let a zombie down there, and that's then we got that's how we got this. So then uh, we were running out of storage, but we had this hallway because I forget where it was going, but I'll find out. And we were putting some of the bows we fished up or that we got from skeletons that we killed. And then uh, we built this second area and put the enchanting table down here and books that we got from a village that's not too far away from here. I think it's like a full day and a half. So we have to like take a bed with us and everything. And um, we got this at, where did we get this? I don't know if he made this one or if we got this from uh, a fortress we found. And then this is, uh, he's been doing all the potion making. I, oh, and we got this from a villager. And this is from uh, the dragon's breath I got from when we were doing the dragon fight. And I got this from a witch's hut. And Ron makes these. Although I have made one. So we have this extra storage, as you can see, it's not a full up. Although this was all slime balls. Because uh, I'll show you in a minute. I think we still have one chest. Yeah, okay. And then uh, this is this is all mostly stuff that we've fished up, except these. These are just from Endermen that we killed. And then he made some eye vendors. And these books are all ones that we've gotten from fishing. It's amazing. Yeah. So that's our secondary storage. And then I think down. Oh, Ron just built this recently. So this is where all the slimes is stored. Oh, wrong side. We build these here because endermen show up down here. So these are our endermen killing things. But anyway, so all the, um, so he has a slime farm uh, underground here and I'll show it to you. So I did in that secondary storage I showed you, it that one wall was all slime balls. Now this whole wall is slime balls. And I think they're all full. Okay, so that's where it stops, I think, yeah. So all of this is full of slimes. And it all gets, I think this is just his work stuff, yeah. There's his elytra. Oh, that's where the chests are. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, we built these here just for temporarily for fighting endermen when they're down here. And then he did this, which is really cool. I have no idea how he did it. But I think it looks really nice. And then I think he's going to build more storage over here. Okay, and then down this hall. Actually, I'll show you the slime farm first. So, oh, he covered it up. There used to be a drop. You could just drop down here, and he had uh, slime squares that you could just land on and bounce. Um, but I guess you can't do that now. Okay, so the slime farm is down here. This is what he had like set up for when he was actually still digging it. Oh, I guess I guess. Oh, there's slimes there. Oh, there's a slime. Okay, you come down here, and this is uh, the sorting or the how the slimes get put into that storage upstairs. He's been digging more. I don't know what he's doing down here. Anyway. So down here is where the slime farm. So I think I can show you. Let's see. Oh, there's too many slimes there. Okay, so they drop off all those platforms into this water, which comes down to this corner. And they go against these uh, cactuses. And the slimes drop into these hoppers, which all used to go into this chest. And we would come down periodically and empty this entire chest out and take it upstairs and put it manually in, but now he's got it so that it goes up automatically. Although right now they're probably pretty backed up. Yeah. So we're probably losing lots of slimes. Cause you saw all those slimes there. Are they gone yet? See, so they, they fall off all of these, come down here, rub up against that. Oh, he's coming over here, so I'm going to get out of here. Bye-bye. There. Okay. 
like I said, he probably got that idea from either Hermitcraft videos or some other Minecraft videos. I don't even know what's down here. What's what's down here? He might be building something else. He's always building stuff. Oh, I don't even know where this goes. Let's see. Or maybe he's just mining. He might just be mining. Uh, it's possible he's just mining. Uh, but we'll see. Let's look. Uh, oh, we got more chests over here. These are... Uh, Oh, I think I know where this is. Oh. Um, I think I know where this is. I think this is his mine. But I could be wrong. Good lord. There's a lot of stairs. Usually he doesn't like to bounce up the stairs, so he'll usually put steps in, but I don't think he's been working on this because he's working on something else right now. Oh, I know what this is. This is the original mine we started when we first... Yeah, because there's the... There's the treehouse from behind. Oh, and there's the project he's working on now. And there's a skeleton! Woo! Alright. Anyway, so that's where that goes. Uh, okay. Back down. So then, uh, this is the skeleton uh, XP... AFK XP thing, skeleton grinder thing. One of his dogs is down here. Danger, do not break. Oh, what's behind? Oh, the skeletons. So we found a skeleton spawner nearby. Then you used to have to go down out of the treehouse, go across a field, which I'll show you. And he had dug a staircase down. But then we found, we decided to try digging from the, the storage unit out. And uh, so now we can do this all underground. So yeah, so you can just... You know, just you can just stand here anywhere in the room, and just stand here and let these guys collect up. And then when you think there's enough, he's got it set up so that these all go over to I think these chests. But I think these chests are all full. Yeah, these chests are all full, so they gotta get emptied out, which came in handy before we had infinity. And then when you think there's enough, you just whack them. And the XP. Oh, I gotta get a little closer. They're not that close. Yeah, so you just sit here and you whack them and you get XP. That's why I'm up to 59, because I come down here quite often. And yeah, some of it, if you get too close, some of it, well, also because it's backed up, it'll just sit there so you end up picking up some of it, which is fine. And then he's put an ender chest down here. And that's the bone meal we've been collecting. I'll have to take that up. So yeah, so this is cool, and I think we got this off once again from Hermitcraft videos. I forget who made it. I know I should probably do my... If I figure out who inspired all of these gadgets that Thrawn's made, I will put a link down in the description. If not, just go check out the Hermitcraft uh, videos, because it's one of the... I think we watch... Uh five or six people that we watch off the Hermitcraft server and they make these things. And that's just where we get the ideas. And then this hallway goes to... <coughs> I think it used to be... I had a mountain cabin, but I've taken it down. We've made it into a creeper farm to try out, which we got the idea off of, once again, a Hermitcraft video. And I think... That one was made by um, a character uh, by the name of Cub Fan on Hermitcraft. I think he's the one that made that. Yeah, so if you look up Hermitcraft server Minecraft, and I think it was Cub Fan that uh, inspired this one for. We didn't make it exactly like he did because th his is way bigger and way better. We just made a small one to try out. 
And the only thing with this... So yeah, I tore down my uh, mountain cabin here and I made this little tiny cabin. And then uh, Thrawn dug up here to make a little observation deck so that we could like just sit here during a thunderstorm or whatever and watch. And it hasn't worked out as well as it did for the uh, for the Minecrafter on Hermitcraft because he did it a lot different. And I think we might build it up and make it a little bit bigger. Now the one thing we did do here is these creepers, we didn't lure them in here. This is the one time we went into creative was just to put these creepers in. That was it. We uh, used the creeper spawn egg and there's none here charged. So that's the only part of this that was done in creative was putting the creepers in. And um, we should have we might build this up to make it all ground level because we dug out this mountain here. So basically um, lightning hits these guys, they become charged, and then you dump, so you flip the switch, which will then activate this, pulling this stone out from under the creeper, and he drops down into that water, and he floats along here, Let's see if I can jump, yep, and then he comes out over here, floats down here and goes into this obsidian chamber uh, I'm not really sure what happens after that oh, I don't want to drop down there I don't know and then you gotta lure a mob or something I don't know if you okay I'm gonna do this and I'm probably not gonna be able to get out okay so I think you flip a switch do you flip a switch? Because the water comes up. Oh. Oh, I don't want to break it. Alright, hang on. Oops. Okay. So, as far as I knew, you drop a mob down here, flip the switch, or whatever. But I think, so the creeper is going to come down here and go in there. And then you're going to drop, that doesn't make sense. I don't know how this works. But anyway, the creeper and the mob end up in here. And then they explode. You, you Like you ignite them somehow and he explodes and you get the head of that mob. So that's that. So yeah, I don't know how it works. I forget. But you can go watch the video. And really, we should have done it so that these were at this level. Like, the tops of these were at this level, and you could just lure the mob, and he drops in there with the creeper. Then you flip the switch, and they float down the river together. And then you light the creeper on fire. Anyway, so yeah. So you can get to that through that tunnel in there. Or I also like to just ride the waterfall down. Hey, sheep. I've been slowly clearing this out. A lot of mobs gather here. It's crazy at night over here. And yeah, this is a boring ass bridge right now. I'm going to do something with it. I haven't decided what yet. I just made it for now because we had a bunch of uh, skeleton horses over there. So it was just easier to get them across over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So these little things here, we use, we call these our Enderman shelter. So like if I see an Enderman over there, I can run in here. And then I look at him and he comes running and he can't get me, but I can get him. So that's how we've gotten tons of Ender Pearls doing it this way. So we have a few of these scattered around. So there's this one over here. This is a secret entrance into our base. I remember closed doors. So I haven't decorated in here yet. Oh, I've broken this a hundred thousand times. This is our pig cooker and our cow cooker. So I think you push this. Cows come up. You feed them. 
Do they breed? Shut that off. Come down here. Um. This. Yeah. You push this button. All the baby cows come shooting out here. Boop, boop. And then uh, when they get bigger, they fry. Oh, that was for the piggy one. So let's say the piggy one is not ma uh, automatic. The pig, the cow one is. Okay, so they didn't die. So there's 44 pork chops in there. So the same thing with the piggies. So the piggies, you come up here. You hit this switch. They come up. You breathe them. They have babies. You come down here. Shoot the babies out. They sit here when they get bigger. Which means you have to watch. Once they're big enough, you hit this and they cook. And then they drop down here. Maybe. Um, maybe not. Uh, what's happening? Alright, let's try this. Uh, give me. Oh, I have two carrots. I can feed them with that. Okay. So, piggies come up. Yep. I feed the piggies. Okay, that's all I can do. So, they have two babies. Shut that off. Come down here. No. There it is. Okay. Okay, so, and then when they get big enough, uh, I'm gonna have to have a look at that. I don't know why that's not working. The cow one's automatic. I have a cat behind me that's driving me crazy. Okay, so, yeah, he got that off of somewhere. I forget where he got that idea. This is my little project that I did. So, in here, and it, it didn't work for the longest time. I'd get villagers in here, and they'd be here for a couple days, and they'd disappear. Even if I named them. So, I made it bigger. I dug it all out again. Made it bigger. Put in a bunch of doors. They don't go anywhere. But it seems to make the villagers happy. And I put some glowstones and some tinted glass. Just for fun. And then I put books back here. Just for fun. And I put a little garden here. And glowstone for the light. And there's water. And then we got a couple of villagers. Now these villagers we did catch some zombie villagers and heal them and put them in here i think we had two or three and they all disappeared one was here for a really long time and the other two just disappeared and then the third one disappeared like after a week i don't know what happened so i like i said i expanded this and then decorated it again although i didn't do this this is original ron did that and i spawned these three villagers I actually went up there up out of here so that I don't know if it counts if I don't kill them in the village because I killed a couple of villagers but anyway so we can trade with these guys so this guy he does I got him up to saddles so far and this guy here we can do redstone lapis ender pearls glowstone so that's cool and this guy here we can do mending books emeralds, compasses, bookshelves, emeralds, clocks, glass. That's it so far. So yeah, so we can trade with these guys and they've been here for a while so I guess it's okay. So yeah, so I did that. You can see I contribute a lot. I did this room too. I like set this up and I did this. Do a lot of the decorating. I decorated this room. I actually did all of this storage. Uh, yeah, so I, I dug this room out and I did this storage. And I did the decorating in here. And uh, I dug this out and I decorated this and I did this 
I didn't make the enchanting table though, Throndin. These are books shelves we got either from villages or from making books. And this, I can't remember where we got this. Either Th Thrond made it, or we got it from, uh, I think it was a, what are they called? Not a dungeon. This is a stronghold, or fortress, or, no, uh, I can't remember. But it was in one of those things. And I got these from when we were in the nether. Uh, is that it? All right, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below whether you want to see more. And don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye.